ants, welcome to an alpha tutorial video. Today, we will discuss on how to install Koya SS, aka the LoRa model trainer in RunPod. Koya SS is a tool useful for training stable diffusion models that does not require large storage space. And as of now, it already supports the training for the newest stable diffusion XL model. Up until now, the access for Koya and Stable Diffusion in RunPod is usually by setting up different GPU to access the direct port at the front page. But recently, there's a new work built in GitHub that enables you to access Koya, Stable Diffusion 81111, and Dreamboot all in one pod. It also has the major updates that you need in Stable Diffusion and also Koya including the XDXL model, Torch, Xformers, Refiners, and Roop extensions as well. First thing is go to the GitHub page and click this template link for RunPod. This will redirect you to RunPod's website and log in. Make sure to always have sufficient balance on the top right corner when you want to deploy your RunPod. Otherwise, it will stop midway and you might lose your work. Next, go to the Community Cloud tab on the left. Select the RTX 3090 since it's more than enough for machine learning with a reasonable price for $0.29 per hour. Inside here, you can set the override first and for volume disk, if you are going to use it a lot, just put around 300 until 500 gigabytes or under if you don't use it often. Make sure it shows the four ports before you proceed on the bottom side. And now click continue and deploy. Just need to wait for a while while the pod is being set up. Since it also needs to set up around 4 ports, it might take around 5 minutes. And you just need to wait first. Make sure to launch your port only when the GPU setup is finished. Otherwise, it will show you the error web page. Now, once the pod is set up, you will see that there is 4 ports that you can read the details of each port from the readme button here and it also contains the password to access the Jupyter notebook so you just need to copy it first and then we go back to the front and from the top board is stable diffusion kohia tensor board and finally the Jupyter notebook let's access the notebook first to download our models Paste the password from before and now we go to the next tab. We're gonna download the STXL model from Stability AI's Hugging Face. Don't worry, I will put the STXL download link in the description box below. You just copy the link and open your terminal and then use wget command to download. Besides the base model, also keep in mind that the Emma Prune VAE is not compatible with STXL model. Therefore, we need to download the STXL VAE too. This will improve the face quality of the STXL images much better. I also noticed an improvement on hands and fingers details when you enable STXL VAE. Since the launch of XL model, there are several XL based checkpoints and LoRa's in Civit AI. To search them in Civit AI's website, you just need to go to the main page and use filter for LoRa and STXL model. Not only that, some users also created new checkpoints based on the STXL that you can download too. But for this video, I will download the LoRa pixel art. To download the LoRa, open Jupyter Notebook, open the terminal, paste this command first, and then use wget with content disposition command followed with the link from Civit AI, and then click enter. This will download the LoRa file directly to your folders. Remember that the older model LoRa's that are trained using the Stable Diffusion 1.5 is not compatible with STXL. It will not be detected by the model too. Now let's see in the web UI. Remember the VAE that we downloaded before? We just need to refresh and you will see the STXL VAE on the top here. And for the LoRa, it will be inside the same folder like usual. Now, let's try to generate using the pixel LoRa that we just downloaded and see the result. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have questions or want to have discussions with us, feel free to comment below or join our Discord community. All the links will be in the description box below. Until next time, 